Hey everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today we're talking about a question I get every single day. Is synthetic oil better? Is it actually worth the extra money? Let's cut through all the marketing BS and get to the real facts. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let me make something crystal clear. Motor oil comes in three main types, conventional, semi-synthetic, and full synthetic. Conventional oil is derived from crude oil and provides basic protection and performance. Semi-synthetic blends conventional oil with synthetic components for better performance and protection. Full synthetic oil is engineered for maximum performance, offering superior protection, efficiency, and durability in high-demand situations. Here's an interesting fact. When you see synthetic on the label, it might not be exactly what you expect. While true synthetic oil is made from polyalpha-olefins, PAO, a high-performance base oil, group 4, most oils labeled as synthetic are actually made from highly refined mineral oil, group 3. These oils undergo advanced refining processes that make them perform similarly to true synthetics. That's why store brand synthetic oils often priced lower can perform just as well as premium brands. Both types typically meet the same industry standards and certifications, so it's important to check for the right certifications when choosing an oil for your vehicle. But what does all this mean when you're standing in the aisle trying to decide? Here's where things get interesting. Synthetic oil has some serious advantages. Number one, it handles extreme temperatures way better. When it's freezing cold outside, synthetic oil flows like water while conventional oil gets thick like honey. In standardized tests called NOAC volatility tests, they heat oil to 250 degrees for an hour and the results show that conventional oil evaporates by up to 15%, whereas synthetic loses way less. What does this mean for your engine? Less oil burn-off, better protection, especially in those hot spots around your turbocharger. Number two, it keeps your engine cleaner. Here's the crazy part. Oxygen actually attacks your oil molecules. With conventional oil, oxygen breaks down those irregular molecules, creating that nasty brown sludge you might have seen in old engines. Synthetic oil molecules are like fortress walls. Oxygen has a much harder time breaking them down so, in simple terms, synthetic oil fights sludge better. Number three, it lasts longer. Now here's where I need to make something clear. Even though synthetic oil can last 10,000 miles or more, I still recommend changing it every 5,000 miles. Why? Because I've seen what happens when people push it too far. Remember folks, whatever oil you choose, the most expensive oil is the oil you don't change. Keep up with those changes and your engine will last longer. Now. That brings us to the big question, which oil is right for you? The choice depends on your car, your driving habits, and your budget. Here's how to break it down. If you live somewhere with extreme temperatures, whether scorching summers or freezing winters, synthetic oil is your best bet. It handles these conditions much better than conventional oil. Similarly, if your car has a turbocharger or you do lots of short trips, synthetic oil provides superior protection against the wear and tear these situations create. Many modern cars even require synthetic oil, and if you want the absolute best protection for your engine, synthetic oil is the way to go. On the other hand, semi-synthetic oil might be the perfect middle ground for some drivers. It offers better protection than conventional oil without the higher cost of full synthetic. This can be a great option if you're on a budget, drive in fairly normal conditions, or have an older car that doesn't need the full benefits of synthetic oil. Finally, conventional oil still has its place. If your car is quite old or you're working with a very tight budget, conventional oil can get the job done. It's not as high performing as the other options, but it's sufficient for vehicles that don't have specialized needs or performance demands.